Now we're looking for natural habitats where our ferns of La Selva grow, and even though this looks nice and dry right now, um, this floods at least three times a year. So this is considered a riparian habitat and a terrestrial habitat. So let's find and look for the, ha for the ferns that are growing on this type of area. And this riparian or terrestrial habitat, um, you can see in the small area, such as by two by two meters, you can find more than four different species. So we're gonna go through and, and show some of the features and some of those in, in the area. This is a fern that could grow inside the forest in this type of habitat, but it could grow outside too. But this is the right habitat for them. And this is, is as I mentioned before, it's terrestrial. And you can even see this is fertile. This is called um, Cyclopeltis. So that's one of the ones found in this small area. The next one will be this one, which is called Diplasium. And Diplasium has a small little stem. And I don't know if this one is fertile. It doesn't seem to be fertile, so there are no there are no sores on this, or spores. But this one has a small little stem, so this is the second one. The third one, which is a beautiful one too, is this one that has new fronts. And this is on the maiden uh, hair group. And this beautiful, I think it's one way for me to ID this one. This is on the genus Adiantum. And I, I call this the, the green metallic new leaf fern. The last one is, uh, easy to see the, the sori or the spores and here you can see this one which has an interesting bigger front, no stem but you can see on top of the leaf the bumpy um, reproductive parts of the ferns and this is called tectaria. So we're here in the same habitat but then we're going to look for a new group of ferns, the ones that are climbing or growing on trunks and some of those are called to epiphytes. So here you have this one which is uh, um, it's a fern, even though it doesn't mix like a fern. And then if you keep moving on the stem, you can find another one here, um, right here, which is quite tiny, but that's a fern too. And then you have the last one right here, a um, few meters from the ground, and this is the one that you can kind of, uh, maybe one of those has an interesting antler shape, and that's another fern. So this um, substrate of this tree here is hosting more than three different species and only one meter in, in length.